All right, guys, we are back at Dungeon Strength RX for my last block of training for the Arnold. Uh, it's a bit early for me. I'm not usually a fan of training in the mornings, but Weston from Reach Supplements is here to film with me and Lucas Hatton, who's also doing the Arnold UK. Um, not sure what Lucas is training today, but I know I've got dumbbell and frame. So I'm gonna go get warmed up and then I'll meet you back here once we get the ball rolling. All right, set number one, 132 pounds. Ideally three or four singles here today. Let's go, bud. Stay tight in your drive. Nice. Call that a training make. Kind of. Yeah. Say it again. Mm. All right, so we just got to a working set of dumbbell. Um, I am changing it up a little bit today. The event for the, the UK Arnold is gonna be a yoke into dumbbell, which means I'm not gonna be able to use my dumbbell shoes. Um, so I'm in my dunks today, um, just seeing how that feels. It's a little bit different. I don't think it's messing me up too much. Um, a few warm ups and it felt pretty natural, but we are up to our working weight. We're gonna work with 132 today, so not super heavy, but still just getting used to that rogue dumbbell because it is not one that comes naturally to me. Um, um, but typically in training, I'll miss that first rep or two once we get to the rogue. And I uh, just got the, the first rep was, the lockout was a little bit shaky, but the rep itself felt really good. So we've got three more singles here before we move on. Come on, Aaron. Good, finish hard. Down. Good. Much better. Much better. Good job. No, that was a pretty good, that was a pretty good make. What do you think of that, Lucas? He says thumbs up. Difference between that rep and the first rep. Uh, I would say that Aaron finished harder through her lats, punched harder into the dumbbell. Although you made a really good note. What was your note about your wrist wraps you wanted to talk about? Oh, um, my wrist strap was too tight on the first rep, which mm. uh, prevented me from getting into some wrist flexion, so the double ended up rolling into my thumb at the top. Right. Made it really hard to hold. Right. So you would say probably not having the tightest wraps helps a lot? Yeah, and I like yeah. these because they're a little bit stretchier, but also just putting them on looser helps. Yeah. Yeah, so we have two, at least two more singles we're going to go for, uh, and that would be a volume PR at this weight, so that's the goal. Good finish. Down, good job. Way to go. Yeah, you're getting it now. Yeah. So much cleaner than two weeks ago. So much cleaner. Yeah, feel good. All right, so that's a wrap on dumbbell. I'm actually really happy with that. Um, dumbbell historically for me doesn't really go great in training. I think for the Arnold, amateur Arnold last year, we had a max dumbbell. The best I hit in the gym was 135, and then I hit 154 at the contest. Um, so it's always a little bit nerve-wracking that my dumbbell training isn't always super consistent, but I'm way ahead of where I normally am in prep with dumbbell at this point. Um, so even though 132 isn't at the upper end of the contest weights, it's moving better than it usually does in training at this point in prep. So I'm really happy with that. I'm excited to see how the next couple weeks go. Um, need to be max weight under nine seconds, which that doesn't really matter this week. About 800. About 800, a little <laughs> over eight, yeah. What was that last one? It's a 660, and then 50. this would be 750. This was the top run two weeks ago. So we're only doing this every other week, and then, uh, yeah. So I'll probably just pick this and then go like eight, 825. Yeah. Which I think 800 for 50, sub 10 would be. Big PR. Yeah, like I did it once for the OSG prep. Yeah. And it was on the easier frame than this. It was on the easier frame. Easier frame, so yeah, this is good. Yep. Cool. Lovely. Pump bitch. Pump. <laughs> All right, so moving on to frame. Uh, Lucas is finishing up now, working on his, um, I think it's like an eight second RM, whatever he just said. Um, and then I've got the same thing, so not really sure what we're shooting for today. Last block, I hit 500 for this RM day. Um, would love to hit more than that, but my grip's being really finicky. I pulled something in my hand last time I did frame, so it is feeling better after deload week, but we'll see how it holds up today.
few warm up sets in, uh, and I was mistaken. I thought it was like a max weight in under eight seconds situation today. Um, we're actually, it's, it's just a max weight for 35 feet. But realistic, realistically for me, that's probably still gonna end up being under eight seconds because um, my grip probably isn't gonna be able to handle much more time than that anyway. So um, generally I am trying to outrun my grip on, on events like this. Um, so it probably still will be within that time restraint, but still would really love to see over 500 today. The frame at the show is gonna be 590, which is significantly more than I've ever done before. But frame is also going better in training than it usually does. So, you know, I'm excited to see where we end up. All right, so I was expecting that to be my last warm-up set. That was supposed to be 460. Um, there was a miss load though, it's actually 500, which I still would have liked to finish, but um, ended up dropping it halfway. Hands just opened up. Um, grip's not feeling super solid. I was really frustrated at first because I thought that that was a fail at 460 and then found out that it's actually 500. So not thrilled about that, but not as upset as I was a second ago. So. We're gonna reroute. We're not gonna go heavier than this on any runs today, but we're gonna stay here at 500 and just do some holds um, just to kind of work on some grip endurance without worrying about the run part of it. Let's go, Aaron. Come on. Take these elbows. It's not even that heavy. What are you talking about? It's 500 pounds. It's great. <laughs> On a Bartos sled, you know it's like 5,000 pounds in real life. 5,000. Thank you, Bartos. My hands just hurt. Yeah. I'm sorry. Do the, the Alex arm grip. Okay, Alex arm, there you go. <laughs> that was two seconds more. Was it? Okay. All right, guys, that's a wrap on events for today. Um, I'm happy with that. Um, not super thrilled with frame, but also not unhappy because um, that is better than frame went in training last prep. So we are ahead of the game there. It is a little bit less than I was able to do a few weeks ago, so I don't love that. But I think we're just realizing that my hands need a lot more rest time than we've been giving them. So as much as it makes me nervous, we probably are going to not do any grip the last two, two and a half weeks of training to just try to go into the show really recovered, which makes me nervous not being able to practice the events more. But I do think it's going to be smarter for my recovery. Um, dumbbell I'm very happy with. Again, not so heavy weights but better than I usually am at this point in prep um, based on uh, what I've noticed in the past. So pretty happy with the day one. Um, again, just going into the final block of training, it's gonna start getting a little bit more specific. Um, I'm not sure what we have later in this week because I haven't looked at the program quite yet, but I believe I will be seeing you back in a couple of days for squats and deadlifts. All right, take care.